Namari's new party stumbles upon Laos and the others. Namari's party consists of the Tansus, who are gnomes, Kaka and Kiki, a brother and sister, a pair of humans, or, if you want to get specific for this show, tall men. Marcel immediately berates Namari for not remaining to save Fallon, but Namari says, Girl, I got bills to pay. Mr. Tansu proceeds to the next room, saying he'll be safe around the Undine, because gnomes and spirits have been cool for centuries. But the Undine attacks, and Namari gets used as a human shield, receiving a killing blow straight through the brain. Mr. Tansu's group retreats, where he easily revives Namari, but she is still pretty pissed off about continuing to get used this way. Laios and Sinshi agree to escort Tansu's group to investigate some ancient writings nearby, and in return, he will heal Marsil. They find the writings, but they also find a tentacle vine monster. It grabs up Kiki, and Laios valiantly goes after her, drops her crossbow down to the ground. Namari is able to fire a direct hit that chases off the monster, and it frees our comrades. The tentacles contain toxins that leave some of our friends looking quite puffy, and we are fresh out of Benadryl. But don't worry, look to the book. Laios' guidebook says to use vinegar pour it over and skin the tentacle, and this show would not be delicious if we didn't have a little bite of tentacle while we're at it. Apparently it ranges from fishy taste to bitter to sweet, depending on where you bite. The vinegar trick works, and Sinchi's hand is free of the tentacle. Tansu says the Undine is angry because of the boiling water Marcel poured onto it. The spirits that make up the creature have a one week lifespan, so in a week, the Undine will basically be a new Undine and it won't be angry anymore, but we cannot wait for a week. On top of that, Laios recommends for Marcel to head back to the surface with the Tonsus because without her mana, it's too dangerous for her to continue. But maybe Laios is rubbing off on Marcel because she has a plan to restore her power by drinking the mana-rich Undine itself. It turns out Senshi has just the tool necessary to catch an Undine. His pan and lid are actually made from adamantine, strong enough even to break dragon bones. And Amari can't believe he's using something so valuable for cooking. But this man knows his priorities. Senshi, Laos, and Namari face the Undine. Get it into the pot and onto the fire. And now we have some high quality H2O. Senshi says the most efficient way to get the mana and the nutrients to absorb into the body is by eating food cooked with the mana water. So we're headed to Flavor Town with a big old pot of Kelpie meat tentacle stew, and this does the trick. We had some tension between Namari and Marcel throughout this episode, but here at the end, the two have come back together in friendship. And you know, I like to think that you and I have grown closer throughout this journey as well. So leave a comment, let me know what you think. I hope you had fun, and I'll see you next time.